Hey everybody, welcome back to another very short episode of Kavinsky's Tutorials. Yesterday I did a video on Mood Units by Rob Jackson. I've put a link above and there are free copies for that still available if you're watching right when this comes out. So you might be able to win a copy of the app if you get a look at that other video now. So I'm going to let you just hear uh, what a jam with a couple of instances of this together can sound like. And then I'm going to explain a few cool things about this MIDI setup. Most interestingly, how to use StepBud to automate transpositions when jamming in AUM. Okay, first a very short little play. Okay, so let me, um, let's see what's causing that. Ah, okay. Now, let me look at uh, the setup here. Okay, so basically this instance of mood units is playing this. And over here, we've got this bass, right? And in a way, they sound quite different from each other, but actually, um, they're using exactly the same pattern in ARP BUD. So I set up an instance of ARP BUD and uh, linked it over here, but I put the instance of ARP BUD through an instance of Rosetta Scalar so that I could do transposing. So basically, this mood units is getting MIDI from an instance of Rosetta Scalar, and that instance of Rosetta Scalar is getting MIDI from an instance of ARPBUD, that is this instance of ARPBUD. So I've set up these intervals here and a few things like a little bit of randomization. Now, for this bass one, what I did was I set up another instance of ARPBUD, pretty much identical to the first one. The intervals I set up here are exactly the same as in this one. Um, but the difference is that for the base one, I put everything down by two octaves. Okay, so that's the first important thing about this setup. Now the next really important thing is that if you listen to this melody, and look at this, right, you see, you see how uh, this instance of scalar is transposing on its own. What it's doing is it's staying on zero semitones for four bars, and then for two bars it's going up to one. So how did I do this? Because AUM does not have any built-in recording of automation. So I went to the Audiobus forum and asked, you know, does anybody have any ideas what I could do here? So a really helpful guy called Kai or Key, I'm not sure of the pronunciation, under underscore K-I. If you're watching this, thanks a lot, man. You really helped me out with that tip. So he suggested a great solution of using StepBud to automate this. So what I ended up doing was um, putting in 
how many steps here? There's um, 24 steps, right? 24 steps for the 24 beats of those six bars. And what I've got here is it doesn't, it's not putting in any notes or anything like that because I'm just using this for modulation. So in the modulation section of StepBud, the first 16 notes are just put in at 0 0.51. What that will do is just keep Rosetta Scalar at the default setting of zero that I've put it at. And then for the last eight steps, I've put in 0 0.53, and that is enough of a change in the percentage of the modulation value to nudge that up to make it go up to this one semitone. So that is just a wonderful way of um, setting up patterns where you're going to get a transposition change in the melody at a regular but asymmetrical timings in AUM. And let me just show you how you go in and actually set up that automation. So um, this is the MIDI chain that the scalar instances that I want to affect with this uh, transposing thing are on. And so first thing you have to do is go into MIDI sources and choose StepBud as a MIDI control source. Or you can do that up here. So here's MIDI control, and you can see that the step bud is routing into MIDI control. I just enable and disable that by pressing here on this space. Okay, so that's one thing we have to do. Then the next thing we do is find the instance of Rosetta Scalar. Now I've done it for um, two different instances actually, because each of these is feeding different things into those two instances of mood units. So here in both of them, it's the same setup. Go into pre-transpose and just set it up. Channel one, CC one. And again on the other instance, channel one, CC one. And that's all you have to do. And then as long as your transport and stuff is running, these ARPs are going to send the MIDI in to these different instances and they're going to get transposed at the correct times by this instance of step up. So this is really a great way to um, make your jams in AUM more interesting instead of being stuck to exactly the same note, you know, for the, the, the fundamental note or whatever of your key, uh, you can get these interesting dynamic changes. So I think I'm going to be using this kind of technique a lot more in the future and thinking about different ways to develop it. So thanks again to key or Kai or whatever for that. All right, everybody. So I hope you found this useful. And uh, as I said at the beginning, go and check out that other uh, main video on mood units. It's a pretty cool app. I do like it. Okay. Take care, everyone. Thanks a lot for watching. Until the next video. See you then.